how to make a 3D Shopify store for beginners. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how you can take videos like these and include them in your Shopify store's background to add a 3D effect, as well as how you can upload your 3D rendered products onto your Shopify store. Now, this is a really bad example, but you definitely uh, can find better 3D models to sample with, and you can also create your own 3D models. I have used this experimental AI tool to create my 3D model. You can use a lot of other tools as well to create 3D models, and you can even create them in Blender as well. So let's get started. Now, first, I'll show you guys how you can add a video or that you can go into online store on the left and then you click on customize. But when you click on customize over here and you add a new section, you can see you have the option to directly add a video, but it becomes a separate section of video and you can't necessarily create it as a background. So this is what makes it non-immersive. So even if I remove the header from here and select the video or embed from a URL, I'll go on ahead and copy this URL and I go ahead and add that over here like so. Okay, we're just going to do this like so and I'll have to use a full video for this. So I'll add a simple dog's POV and I'll just copy that and paste that over here. And you guys can see that even though the video is going to be added, it's not added seamlessly. It's added more so as a, you know, YouTube video like this. So we want to make it really seamless. And the way to do that is by editing some of the Shopify code. For that, simply head on over to your Shopify store dashboard. And then you are going to click on these three dots over here. Click on edit code. And once you click on edit code, this is what it's going to look like. Now on the left, you have multiple different folders and you want to open up the sections folder. Click on add new section and you want to add a liquid section. And you can just name this video background. And I just like to add a dash in between video and background and then click on done. Once you click on done, you want to copy this code over here. Now, it's really important that you copy this entire code. You can find this on GitHub. You can search for it simply by searching for the author. You can just search for Mr. Dexter video background GitHub, and this will be the first link on Google. And you're going to paste that in over here. Once you do that, you're going to click on save and save this new section. Now you're going to click on exit and then click on customize again on your Shopify store. Now you're going to click on add section and if you scroll down, you should have a different type of video dash section that you can actually create. And this might be different for, you know, the code that you might add if you add a different code that allows you to add custom liquid. So you have a custom liquid variation of this as well, but just make sure that your code is saved. So I'm going to go back into the code. And I'm just going to ensure that my video slash liquid section is saved. And you want to ensure that it is saved into these sections as well. Now, once this has been done, it might take a couple of seconds for the changes to take effect. But let's say I want to go into our homepage and I click on add section and I'm going to search for video. Yeah. Now, if you search for video in sections, you will see the option of video background. So select video background over here and you will see your video that you want to display. Now, obviously, this is going to be an empty section first. And if you exit back, you have the video slide in your video slide. You want to paste in a link for that particular video. So I'm going to go for this YouTube video over here and I'm going to paste it like so. And just like that, the video should be displayed. It might take a couple of seconds, but below that you have the heading, which I'm going to remove as well as the description, text colors, background. You can add, you know, a lot of different stuff to this because this is going to serve as a background video. It's not going to serve as, you know, a separate section. It's just going to be in the background and playing 
and you can just click on save. And once you click on save, you can exit back to see what it looks like. I'm also going to change the position of this and I'll place it at the top. And once I have placed it at the top, another really important thing you can also do is ensure that the video is, you know, playing properly. Now for that, you can also download the video and add this to your Shopify store media files, but I don't find that to be necessary. So I'm going to leave it as it is. And then I can preview it on my online store if it's still, you know, not displaying it like it's currently not displaying the video slide. Give it a couple of minutes for the video to be loaded up or you can try it with another video in case it is having issues displaying your particular video. And just like that, you can create a 3D effect in your Shopify store. Keep in mind that this is going to be a little limited when it comes to larger or longer videos. You want to ensure that the video that you are selecting is not too long because if the video is too long, then it's also going to not be able to load up the entire video. So if I go for this walking POV like this, and if I take these three hour long videos, so you guys can see that there are three hour long videos as well. And if you add those over here, then it's not going to work because the video is too large for Shopify. Now, if you want to add a 3D rendered product onto your Shopify store, you can easily do that. Now, you can take any of your products and go into Meshi AI. Meshi AI allows you to create a AI-based prompt via text or via an image. You can basically convert that into any 3D model. You guys can see there are quite a few different models available. You can also go with text to 3D, image to 3D, 3D texturing, and more. I'm going to search for girl like this or let's say I'll search for makeup like this. And once I have the 3D model that I want, if I've generated it or if I just, you know, have it, I'll just use this one over here. I can click on download. Now, when you're downloading these, you have to download this as a GLB. I'm going to use the same one that I created, which is the liquid lipstick one, which I was just displaying to you guys which is my image to 3D. So yeah, this one over here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on download. Download this as a GLB because GLB is the file type that is accepted by Shopify. Then click on add product over here. Click on upload new. And then you're just going to upload the GLB file. I have it over here. Where is it? I'll just search for GLB. Yeah, so this is my GLB file and I'm just going to open it. This is my liquid lip and then i can just click on save and this is going to be a 3d picture or a 3d element and i can click on view over here my file isn't completely uploaded i'll just download this again and then i have this which i'm going to drag and drop to upload and it's taking a couple of seconds to be uploaded i'm just going to wait for the processing to be completed and you guys can see this is my 3d model and it's going to be the same like this. People can move it around and view it in a complete 360. And now I can just click on save. And if I click on view over here, it, this is what the product looks like. It's a 3D product and customers can actually view it in 3D. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And I will catch you guys in the next video.